Okay. It's August 29th, and I am popping in to do this haul that I have been sitting on since early June. Um, like plenty of more. But um, I am going to get this one out because I know um, I was telling somebody about it, and Africa, they would like to see. So, ma'am, will you go and play for a few minutes? As you can see, ETA, I love ETA. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Si. I love you. You love me. So, if you guys watched my planning, um, curriculum planning video for multiple children, I talked about using for the twins what your kindergartner and first grader need to know. Um, and I just kind of touched on how we'll just go by chapter pretty much and the um math section but the book is not very um not very detailed so of course i have to supplement with that we have lots of materials but i have actual math curriculum and what i'm about to show you is actually a series i'm just going to start with this because there's four different things okay so I went to eBay just um, browsing and um, yeah and I did reference Amazon like I always do we um, I'm looking for lots and you don't get lots on Amazon it's your item and that's it so yeah anywho I came across this floor lot what it is K through 2 curriculum using snap cubes here's K through 2 using base 10 blocks pattern blocks and geo boards okay all of which we have okay these books retail let's say like 18 20 bucks a piece Yes, you can find them on Amazon for, um, you know, a couple of bucks. I paid five bucks for the lot. Um, and that was for all of them. So for, you know, buying one on Amazon, I got all of them on eBay. And actually, there's more than this. And let me show you the back of them. They are actually age appropriate all the way up to 7th, 8th grade. Okay, so this is just the start. Just what I needed to get us through the next couple of years. So, there's that. Let me open up. Snap Cubes pretty much tells you how to use the Super Source, how lessons are organized, how to use the activities. How to uh, record the things. It tells you about exploring snap cubes. How to work with them. And there's also videotapes that go along with this. They um, All their material have videotapes. If you're interested in ETA. And these are the different... There you go. The different uh, strands and standards okay so sorry about that shadow it's kind of dark in here but this is what all of these um, things cover each lesson okay. and it just tells you about this is a uh, the three, four, five, six at a glance. All right, overview of the lessons. So at the Crayon Factory, children it children use different color snap cues to model the colors of crayons and to find the number of ways four different color crayons can be arranged in a box. So just all 
types of lessons and it's set up to where they can work in groups so of course I have two of them so that will be the group actually three of them because the baby is not quite ready although she will I'm sure join in but they can um, work together and then share in the bigger picture they share um, their own answers our own um, hypothesis and it just starts it tells you in but each lesson what you need to to use that particular lesson it tells it gives you that introduction to the activity it's on your own the bigger picture there's drawings and it tells you how to extend the activity where the math is okay so there's that and that's pretty much how the lessons proceed and get longer you use different things this one calls for dice let me move it along I don't want to make this extremely long but progressively the lessons change here they are working on mirrored images there you go and tails using the um, cubes and folded paper and they work on um, symmetry multiples of 10 Okay, let's get back here. Let me show you the back so I can move it along. Is that right? You can just lay out. Back, it gives you your black line um, reproducibles that you would use for the uh, different lessons. Snap cube grid paper meter mark multiples of ten. Here's your puzzle shapes and area. So basically having to fill up the area with snap cubes. And calculating how many, guesstimating how many. There's ten towers in here. Um, here's some more ten towers. There's lessons on doing the tens. Okay, and so that's what that is. And then we're into going to the base ten blocks. And so pretty, you know, the same thing. It tells you how to how to you know how the lessons are organized. How to set up, how to record things, and again, your strands and standards, topics, so ETA super source. You need and here they're using a scale. You plan with the connects over here. Yeah. Okay. Again, where's the math and the activity? And there's some drawing and writing in each lesson. Shh. You guys have to calm down a few more minutes. Okay. Um, and then let's get to the there's some there um, working on money and place value how can you use base 10 blocks to buy lunch Mom, so, how do bees make honey how do bees make honey okay let me finish this haul and we'll have to study bees okay thank you the learning never stops you guys get that <laughs> in the middle of a hall. Good question. 
from your kiddos. Okay. Here's the weighing numbers. The bingo game board. Feeding the birds. There's your 1 to 100 grid. There's your spinner. There's your looking for length. Thank you for your commentary. Okay, so all of your black lines are back here for your lessons. These, you can also use the single, um, single, what am I saying, the centimeter cubes. Um, not just the base 10. So those come in handy as well. Um, as you can see here, there's the centimeter cubes. Okay, so again, all of these lessons are grade appropriate. So the same, not the same lesson, but the same base it? 10 blocks you will um, find in third, fourth grade. As you see what here. And you will find it in fifth. So, straight up, you can see where the change is here. Middle school. Okay. That's where the change is. Alright, here we are into the pattern blocks. Um, pattern blocks, tan grams, attribute blocks, or attribute shapes. That's where this um, falls into. Again, there's your standards, your topics. And they're finding perimeter. They work on area. Um, again, symmetry. Just all kinds of things here. They're doing a copycat pattern. I love the tile in the wheelchair picture. It's awesome. So, that is basically what it's telling you you need. Pattern blocks, you will need at least 6 yellow, 20 blue, 40 green per pair. So you will co cover the caterpillar outlines on page 90. Okay. So, yeah, just all sorts of. You ask the children to find ways to cover their yellow pattern block using exactly four blocks. Confirm that the only combination that works is two blocks, two blue blocks, two green gr blocks. Record the findings on the board. Now I ask the children to cover the hexagon using exactly five blocks. Again, elicit that there's only one solution. One blue, blue block and four green blocks. Add this information to the chart. So, they're getting a lot. In the sharing part is asking how many different combinations they all came up with. What is the greatest number of blocks that anyone used? Did you change strategies? Go take it to Tariq. He'll help you. Uh, did you notice any patterns that helped you find the solutions? Does your class chart include all of the solutions? If you think not, which ones might be missing? So Great. We are going to get so much... Um, use out of this curriculum. I'm excited. Like I said, there is more to add on to this. I will come back in another haul. Let me finish this book. Show these black lines. I'll come back in another video and show you the rest of what we have. Because there's something and I think what I'll do is compare because there's something that I have that's similar, but they're different. So we will use them both. So there's that. All right, moving along to geo boards, and you guys stay tuned for this.
I have something um, coming up after this video. So, this, uh, I said, same thing. The way it's set up, it tells you how to explore geo boards, what they are. Uh, my suggestion is double sided geo boards, although you don't have to. Make sure you get them at least 7 by 5. I think it's 7 by 5. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, it tells you what, you know, how to work with the geo board. And there's your topics and your strands. Okay, so these manipulatives that you purchase for ETA will last you a lifetime. So it's a good investment, a good investment um, to purchase the ETA uh, manip manipulatives because they're going to take you all the way through school and you don't have to purchase anymore. You know, if you have multiple children, you may want to add, you know, a couple more um, sets. Um, you know, you we have more than normal uh, attribute blocks or more than normal pattern blocks um, where someone might have 50 or 100 we might have 500 because we have more kids so but I don't have to buy anymore so that's what I like I'm not steadily adding on to the curriculum you have your geo boards and that's it that's all you'll need to work throughout this curriculum for the next you know couple years so, there's that. So, same thing, you know, they're making shapes. I see a triangle. The longest side goes across the bottom of the geo board. So, you're asking the children, you know, to find something and giving them a clue. What's same and what's different. So... You're looking at this pattern and determining what is different about the two. Okay, and then your black lines are here. There's your geoboard grid papers. And this is about the size of the geoboard you would want. You want one this big, the size of this paper. Yeah, and they do have them this small, but they are too small. I mean, for a beginner, but you will outgrow them quickly, so I don't recommend them. Here's your geo board dot paper. Here's the flip side of a geo board, the ones that are double sided. And like I said, stay tuned for the next video. So that is the end of that book. ETA Super Source. So, I hope this answers all your questions. If you would like further explanation or, you know, any questions on any one of these curriculum, let me know and I will answer your questions. If I have to go back and just do by book, I'll be glad to do that. And hope you guys enjoy. Um, subscribe. And I'll be back shortly. Bye.